So Ben, can you hear me with this test? I don't know, Ralph. Maybe if you show me the test, I could see. Let's take a look at the test, Ben. All right. Hey, everyone. That's Ralph. And that's Ben. And you know we are the RV men. Coming to you from Camping World in Jackson, mm -hmm. Mississippi on this gorgeous day. It is a gorgeous April day. Now, we are half mic today, so we, we only have one. Yeah, if for... you can't hear one of us from time to time. So we apologize in advance. But having said that, we're going to start up front like we always do. Yeah, so what do we have here, Ben? We have a Pioneer. Uh, BH270, Ralph. And that is a 2020 uh, Yeah, 2021, model. that's right. Um, by Heartland. Heartland, yes. We, we love Pioneers. We actually have we a, do. a number video. one seller. Yep, here at Camping World in Jackson. Mm -hmm. So let's get a little bit of that flag and oh, do a cutaway, Ben. America. Cutaway. All right, Ben. All right, Ralph. Well, as we already said previous, this is a 2021 Pioneer BH270. We're going to have your power tongue jack right here up front. Now, me and Ralph always highly recommend stretching all your fingers. That's right, Ben. You definitely need to stretch. You do. I mean, oh, man, that feels good, too. I'm, oh, I got to go back down, dude. Oh. Groups are free, Ben. Mm. Groups are free. That feels really good, man. But now that I've stretched out good, up, down. That's amazing. With right? A two button. I mean, I can, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, you've got, you've got lights light right here. Lights um, on, lights off, like yep. Daniel from uh, um, there, And you even have a little inline fuse, so if for some reason it's not working, I always check right there first. Make sure that fuse is good. You're going to have two 20-pound uh, propane bottles here, Ralph. And look at there, I was right. So you can switch between the two bottles like so. Um, these are uh, the nice 20-gallon. Uh, that way you can ret return those at any Camp, well, I, no, I camp, love those. Yeah, you can, for you sure. Can fill those up you can fill them up at Camping World, um, but it's any gas anywhere. stations, Walmarts, yeah. all that. But our batteries, our batteries are going to mount right here, Ralph, or battery, oh. excuse me. We definitely do all part of our deluxe destination package. We fill your propane, install your battery. You get a walkthrough. We clean the camper, and we do that. Just you know, we want everybody to leave with a clean, good-looking camper. Now, Ralph, we don't have the sticker on this side, but I believe they're calling this a King Kong storage. King Kong storage, man. We just had King Kong vs. Godzilla come out. Yep, I liked it. Watched it. Maybe Mallard should start doing well, they are Godzilla doing. storage. Well, they're already doing the King, King Kong. King Kong, yeah, I mean, but let's switch it up. Anyhow, but look at that, Ralph. Nice, and everything's nice and finished in here. You do have a light over there, and I bet a light over here as well. Oh, yes, we do. Yep, I got that turned on now, but all nice and finished. Now, this floor in here is going to run all the way through the camper. At the manufacturers, they have these things on a big old light rotisserie, and they put these floors down and build everything right on top of it. So, wow. nice seamless vinyl floor. You do have the rack and pinion, electric slides here. Now, we like the rack and pinion because it's the most tried and true heavy-duty slide mechanisms that they make, Ralph. Really? Were you aware of that? Huh? Actually, yeah, I've been. Okay, well, I figured but, you, you might be. Our, our viewers may not have been. They may not have been, and, Ralph. Uh, that is we're true. We're all about educating folks. We are. So, nice big, you can even see through the windows here how nice the view would be when you're at the campsite. Um, and these, these windows will open so you can get a nice breeze coming in and out, um, even if the air conditioning is not on. That's awesome. I don't know why it wouldn't be on, but. Well, I actually turned it on when I was prepping this. Oh, bless you, Ralph. Uh, we're going to have to pause here for a second, Ben. It's, it's the work calling us. Work calling. All right, Ben, I think we're back. Uh, we're back? After my phone call. Hey, it happens, man. We're busy guys. So I don't know where we left off. Folks. We left off right here, Ralph. I was just about to say this is your great tank and your black tank. All of your connections and handles are all right there, nice and easily accessible. So obviously hook your sewer hose up here, sewer hose wherever you're going to drain it, and pull those handles, and away it'll go. Awesome, Ben. Pretty easy, right? 30 easy, amp, easy. 30 amp power cord right here. Your city water connection, Ralph. Now, what's the difference between city water connection and potable water connection? Um, well, I think the potable's on the other side, but this will be where you hook up the water hose at the campground or wherever you may have a water hose to hook to it. The potable water will be 40 gallons of onboard water storage and a water pump that'll take water just clean throughout the camper, Ralph. Handy dandy. Yep, absolutely so, handy dandy. Just like if you were... Kind of like if you were at home, yeah. But with a six gallon hot water heater. With a six gallon hot water heater. That works off of propane and electricity though. Wow, dude. And look at here. That'll be handy to warm this uh, outside shower water up now. 
as you can see you can even uh let's see here a little just kind of like a bidet uh, whatever you want to call it man yeah. you can get clean so dirty feet dirty dogs dirty, dirty, kids. dirty butt no yes you will do whatever to get rid of sand for sure all right back here we have this nice heavy duty tailgate you can carry about 300 pounds on this and you also have a nice spare tire we hope you never need it never but if you do you got one we're also pre-wired for a backup camera ralph in that handy yep. and a solar flare ralph. and a solar what that's a lens flare. Ah, lens flare, got you. So hollow bumper, you could store your sewer pipe or anything else long and uh, kind of small in circumference. Right here, we're going to have your second door. And look at here, Ralph, that goes straight into the bathroom. And I know my kids would love to run in the other door and let all my cold air out. And I don't want that to happen. So they're going to come in through this door. It's nice to have that second door. Mm-hmm. And you also have your... Uh, Power stabilizers right here. Nice, easy up and down. Black tank flush. This has a little something to do with what we were going over on the other side. Remember I was saying to hook the sewer hose up here, drain it there, pull the handles. Well, now you've got sprinklers on the inside of that black tank that'll spray everything out. Isn't that handy? It is handy, man. I mean, if you're gonna go camp, let's not have to carry a hose into Like, can you just imagine? Open it up, I gotta carry a hose in here. Hit the foot flush. Put it down in there, it's a process. Nobody likes it. That's why they come up with the black tank flushes. Um, here we have the refrigerator access. Um, we have your propane, or not propane, but your furnace vent. We highly recommend in the winter time while camping, don't touch it. Hot. Hot, very. Potable water, Ralph. This is what I was speaking of on the other side of the camper. So that right there, this little tube leads to that 40 gallon tank. You fill it up, turn the water pump on, and magic you've got water spot fear put up a table watch the ball game under your beautiful awning with the led you got the outside speakers oversized grab handle the upgraded step above sturdy steps as you'll notice the camper does not shake when jumping that's amazing ben. what would you rate that dismount ralph uh, i'd give it a 9.7 awesome brother you know, well you, i'm gonna be a gentleman and open this door for you sir Ben, you're right. Do a handoff here and, and, mm -hmm. and probably a cut scene. All right. I take it we're filming, Ben? We are filming, Ralph. We've come back from the, the cut scene. The cut scene's over. So as I come in, I'd like to point out that right here we have all of our gauges so mm -hmm. uh, easily located and easily found. Um, your tank levels. Mm -hmm. Your hot and gas and electric hot water heater. Mm -hmm. um, that's your wine guard connect. Up here you got your lights for the overhead com uh, and the awning. You're out for your slide and then uh, retract, extend for the awning itself. Mm -hmm. uh, back over here, we're going to go ahead and jump into the bedroom. Well, Ralph, you sure you want to jump? Well, right here, Ben, this is where the key would go for the bedroom. Mm -hmm. uh, got a metal plate here. We do have storage up in here as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, up in here, you have a nice area to put your phone if you wanted to, and there's a receptacle. Right oh, there. A light and everything? Uh huh. Ooh, fancy. Hey, there's like Lego Heartland Pioneer. Hey man, they're stepping up their game. I bet that's that's got a motion sensor Ralph, on it. Could you put a CPAP in one of those holes? I bet you could put a CPAP. I like that. Because yeah. at night, you got all that little ambient light that you can put through the here, too. You got. Uh, is that a plug there or just a box? That's for the uh, Wi Fi for the box. Gotcha. And. Little pocket door here, vents in the ceiling so that we can uh, ventilate this. Mm -hmm. Pass through King Kong storage, queen size bed. There goes the AC kicking on. Now I'm going to go ahead and kick it off so that we're not wrestling with the uh, sound for it. But I mean, even with the AC running, you know, you can still have a conversation in here. Yeah. So the conversation I'd like to have then is this nice little kitchen right here. Yes, Three right. burner stove with oven. Look at that. You can cook turkey slices in it. Turkey slices. And you know what time it is, Ben? Plate test time, right? It's plate test time, and the AC agrees. I think it does. So, we have not tested this camper this year so far. The plate fits, folks. No problem.
Let, let's do a double plate but test. Everybody should be able to make plates disappear into that cabinet, or even this handy dandy pantry. I bet you could put some peanut butter Captain Crunch Man, in there. Man, I was just thinking about all the peanut butter Captain Crunch you could store right there. You know, and you could store water in there. And you put bowls and, and, and spoons up top right there in that little compartment. Yep, easy access. Easy access. Your milk's right there in the refrigerator. Let's put this back, something for future plate test. Now, right over here, Ben, we have an area where you can sit down and take off your shoes. Mm -hmm. I would demonstrate. But if you'll follow my hand right through there, you'll notice that that is no carpet right there. This is a vinyl mat yeah. uh, along with the vinyl floor. Uh, I love that for this year. Uh, you have up here, you have the TV, which not bad. You know, it's, they've gotten bigger, I think, this year over the last mm -hmm. year. I believe so. When, what, didn't the BH270s have the center pass-through storage? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, where your feet were almost touching the wall? Or was that the... No, that's the, the QB300, I think. Okay, has well... has the double doors. Basically, so, the 270 is a great model in bunks because it does give you... The actual the, room. The actual door, yeah. So, jackknife uh, right here. Sit down. And boom. Storage. Yep, with storage underneath, as you can see right there. This turns into a bed with storage underneath here as well. Storage underneath here as well. And to demonstrate that Yes, a big human being can get in here and lay down. A little light up in here if you need it. Now, I believe we've gone over everything other than the bathroom. The bathroom's going to be the last detail, Ralph, I do believe. If I had a phone, I'd sit right here. Here. Oh, thank you, Ben. You're welcome, Ralph. Hmm. Just wash your hands. <laughs> yeah, thank you, I will. Right here in this handy dandy seat. Oh man! I could sit, sit here and charge my phone if I wanted to while I took a bath or I a bet shower. There were electricians everywhere and just panicking because you can reach this. Uh... Well, this isn't bad, Ben. Look, you know, man, I, Ralph, you're what six foot four and with this hair is, and attitude. Yeah, six foot three, six foot seven with attitude. You know, attitude. Uh, attitude. That's where <laughs> that's where you wear a hat and you got an attitude, attitude folks. Yeah. You got a attitude. Right. So, um, solid piece shower surround. Yeah. I like that. Yep. Oh, that's dirty. solid. Yeah. That's real solid. Power vent fan. Yeah. Nice little cabinet. We'll bring your phone with us. And, and yet again, I, I want to point out here just the new colors, the new light fixtures that uh, Heartland's putting in here. And Ralph, I mean, the, the kicker to me is really the solid surface countertops, man. That Those is. look so good in here. Yeah, they do. And no it makes moment. sense. Yeah. And it makes sense for a camper. Mm -hmm. You know, when uh, if you look closely, folks, I, I normally don't point this out, but somebody left the window open. Hey, you know what, Ralph? I had a customer the other day who thought you could cook on top of that that their uh, glass cooktop. Now, that is not for cooking on. If you turn the flame on with, these flame, with this down, that glass is going to bust. That's 100% right. 100% of the time. That's right. And I hope we got that. <laughs> yep, so we're down into one microphone. So Ralph's gonna do a cool uh, cut scene here. Mm -hmm. Too cool for school today, right? I didn't realize it's too cool for school, folks. Had his shades on the whole time. I had my shades on. Yep. Uh, that that sucks. No, it's fine, man. I'm sorry, folks, if if you felt disrespected with my coolness. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, you should feel disrespected for him wearing them sunglasses. So man. Ben, um, I still have not received any carrier pigeons. They, they have not arrived. Didn't return, huh? Yeah, it's going on a year and a half now. Yep. Um, well, and several hundred pigeons. If anybody's got a uh, good recommendation for pigeon trainers, we're we not doing very good now. We would appreciate it. And uh, we've sent smoke signals out, but have not gotten smoke signals signals back. Yeah, we haven't. No. And, and we um, still have people who come in, Ralph. And a lady the other day, I told her about you know Ralph and Ben the RV man. Mm -hmm. She went, oh, "That's y'all." Yes, it and is. And I was like, "Yes, that's us." So please, our, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to ask Ralph and Ben. Come on, come folks. In. Come I on. I mean, for the best experience. Yeah, customer yep. service out the wazoo. Yes. You guys will get so much customer service, you'll feel like you're part of the family. That's right. And that's and, because oh, my phone's ringing. We're going to have to do a I cut, cut, cut for the cut. So, folks, the one thing that is working, and it's obvious by the sheer fact that you heard it, is our cell phone. Yes, definitely our cell phones work, Ralph. So we were we were discussing when you come in, mm -hmm. please ask for Ralph and Ben. But if for some reason you would like to contact Ralph and Ben before you come in, you could contact Ralph mm -hmm. at 
601-540-7315. And you can contact Ben at 601-540-7672. Now, before we finish and we hang up, I'm going to complete a promise. So to uh, a young fan, hello, Charlie. Hello, Charlie. Uh, we hope you stayed and watched the whole video. Mm -hmm. You didn't stay up late to do it? Yes. No. Right. Uh, yeah, don't do that. And then, uh, hello, Connor. That's my son. Yep. Oh, and um, Caden, Grayson, Kaylee, and Br Brantley. Yep. So uh, until next time, folks, we'd like to give shout outs. So leave a comment in yep. downstairs. And, Let us know you're watching. Um, and until next time, that's Ralph. And that's Ben. We're the RV men. Coming to you from Camping World in Jackson. Bye. Thanks,